Methods of Soil Classification The competent person on site is responsible for determining soil types. There are two basic methods for soil classification. Visual Testing Manual Testing the classification of each soil type requires at least one visual analysis, and at least one manual analysis. The only exception to this testing requirement is if the competent person wants to designate a soil as type C, which is the most unstable type of soil, then no testing is needed. Visual Testing The competent person is looking for any cracks, signs of vibration, or any surrounding utility. The competent person also looks for bulging, boiling, or signs of water, either from side seepage or coming up from the water table below. Manual Testing There are three main types of manual tests a competent person may use to determine the soil class, thumb penetration test, dry strength test, plasticity or wet thread test, thumb penetration test. For the thumb penetration test, the competent person attempts to press a thumb firmly into the soil in question. If the thumb makes an indentation in the soil only with great difficulty, this oil is probably type A. If the thumb penetrates no further than the length of the thumbnail, then it is type B soil. If the thumb penetrates the full length of the thumb, then it is type C soil. Dry Strength Test For the dry strength test, the competent person takes a sample of the dry soil. If it crumbles freely into individual grains, it is type C soil. If it falls apart into clumps, and those clumps break into smaller clumps, then it is probably a combination of clay and gravel, sand or silt, and is classified as type B soil. For the plasticity or wet thread test, the competent person takes a small soil sample, wets it, and molds the soil into a small ball. Then, he or she attempts to roll it into a thin thread, approximately 2 inches in length by 1 8 inch in diameter. If the soil thread doesn't break when held at one end, the soil can be considered type B. If the thread breaks, it is type C soil. Devices like a pocket penetrometer, shear vein, or torvane may also be used to determine the unconfined compressive strength of soil. 